Hey everyone, here's a question. The question is, find the equivalent fraction of 45 by 60 having a denominator 4, numerator 15, denominator 240, numerator 135. So they are asking us to find out the equivalent fraction and they have given few conditions here that denominator should be equal to this or numerator should be equal to this. And the number given is 45 by 60. So there are two ways of finding out the equivalent fraction. One is by multiplying and one is by dividing. So depending upon the condition, we should want to choose uh, like if we have to multiply or to divide them. So number here is 45 by 60, right? So like I said before, we have to either multiply or divide. And in this first question, they want denominator to be equal to 4, which means here we should get 4. Now see, if I multiply 60 with any number, I will not get 4, which means I'm, this number is getting reduced. 60 is becoming 4 means we're dividing a number. So this 60 is getting divided by some number. What is that number? So what we should divide 60, this number, so that the answer will be 4. And same number we're going to divide in the numerator. If you don't know this, there are like there's a simple way of finding out. What you can do is you divide 60 and 4. We want this number, right? What number to be divided here? You do one thing. If you don't know that number, you can divide 60 and 4. When you divide 60 and 4, you will get this number. So 60 divided by 4 when we do it, 4 ones are 4, 2 is a remainder, drop the 0, 20, so 4 5s are 20. So 0 is a remainder, right? So 15 we got. So if I divide 60 by 15, I'll get 4. So same 15 you divide in the numerator, 45 divided by 15. So 45 divided by 15 when you, you do, you get answer 3 because 15 3s are is 45. So you divide 45 by 15, you will get answer 3. So we'll get here 3 in the numerator. So 3 by 4 is an equivalent fraction, equivalent fraction where the denominator should is equal to 4. That's it. Then the next question. In second one, they want numerator to be equal to 15. So 45 by 60 we have and they want numerator to be equal to 15. So again, what we're doing here, we're dividing or we're multiplying here because the 45 is changing to 15, which means if you multiply, we'll not get 15, we'll get a big number. So which means we're dividing here, we're dividing 45 by certain number so that the answer is 15. So what is that number? So if you don't know how to do this, you can divide 45 by 15, you can do it. You would, if you just now have done that, if you divide 45 and 15, you get answer 3. Similarly, if I divide 45 and 3, I'll get answer 15. In case you're unable to find out this number, you divide 45 by 15, you'll get this number. Okay. In the previous question, we know that when I divide 45 and 15, I'll get answer 3 because 15, 3 is 45. So here we will divide by 3. So same 3 will divide in the denominator. We should do the same thing in numerator and denominator, otherwise the value of the number will change. We cannot just change the numerator or just the denominator. If you modify 1, the value of the whole number will change. So to make it balance, whatever modification you're doing, whatever changes we're doing, we should do it both in the numerator and in the denominator. So dividing here in the numerator and denominator by 3. So we'll get here 60 divided by 3. So I hope you all know you will get answer 20. 3 twos are is 6, we will get remainder 0, drop this 0 here, 3 zeros are 0. So answer is 20. So 15 by 20 is the answer, where the numerator is 15. Then the next question, so the number is 45 by 60 and they want denominator to be equal to 240. Now, if I divide 60 by a number, I will not get 240. The number will become more small, which means you are multiplying here. So, with what number we should multiply to get 240? So, you know that 6 fours are is 24, right? And here we have 240, which means 60 multiplied by 4 will be equal to 240. Because 6 fours are is 24 and then we have 0, so we will get 0. So we should multiply here with 4 to get 240. So same we are going to multiply 4 in the numerator. So 60 multiplied by 4 and same 4 you multiply in the numerator with 45. So 45 fours are will be 180. So answer is 180 by 240. Then the last question, fourth one. They want numerator to be equal to 135. So 45 by 60 
and the numerator to be equal to 135. So with what we should multiply because if I divide 45 by any number I will not get 135 because 135 is greater than 45 which means we are here we are multiplying. So with what number we should multiply? Now in case you do not know that you can divide 45 and 135 means you divide 135 by 45 you will get the answer or you can just do a trial and error you can multiply 45 with a different number and you can get the answer. We know 45 2 is 90 so let us try with 45 3 is 3 5 is a 15, 3 4 is a 12 plus 1 is 13, so 135. So if I multiply this with 3, I will get 135. So same 3 you multiply in the denominator with 60, right? So 63 is a is 180 because 6 3 is a is 18 and then we have 10, 60 into 3, right? So 6 3 is a is 18 and we have 10, put that 0 here, we will get 180. So 135 by 180 is the answer, that is it. So I hope these questions are clear. In case you have other questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.